Hello people of the internet, my name is Tatiana, welcome back to another episode of Is it a fit or is it just Pinterest? A series where I try to recreate different Pinterest inspired outfits with clothes that I already have at home and just try to see if it really is a good outfit or if it just looks good because the model is skinny or tall or maybe they're wearing like very specific clothing this is where we find out if these outfits work or not and in this episode we are doing a special Christmas one where we try different Christmas outfits. The reason for that is that my family does sort of like a semi-formal Christmas dinner every year and I don't know what to wear so I thought I would just, you know, use the little try-on uh, from the clothes that I have and make also a video because it turns out People like it. Originally I thought this outfit would also be an option but I feel like it's just too casual. Also please don't mind my uh, crazy face right now. I was going for a Christmassy inspired look but I look more like a frog clown. As always I'm gonna put my sizes over here so you can compare you know your sizes with mine in case you ever decide to recreate these outfits yourself. I'm also wearing a special gingerbread Christmassy headband, which is not a headband, it's actually a pocket square that came with a tie that my boyfriend has, but I thought since he doesn't use it, I might as well use it myself. So we're also gonna be trying to match the outfits to this green scarf. Here is some outfit inspiration that I found, just so you can imagine what will make an appearance in this video and hope you enjoy. I'm actually working on a borrowed time because I feel like I won't have much light in like half an hour, so I will try to get through all of these as fast as I can. This is outfit number two. It's super simple. I felt very inspired by this when I saw it on Pinterest. I feel like it's not necessarily giving Christmas, but it is definitely comfortable. It feels cozy, but also a little bit elevated in a way, because like, you know, the shirt is kind of shiny and... <coughs> I feel like my autofocus is fucked. I really hope that wasn't out of focus. Anyways, we're back even if it was. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, because the shirt is somewhat shiny and I feel like you know, wearing a shirt that is a little bit shiny always makes it feel a little more elevated and like fancy. The star of today will probably be these boots that you have seen in my previous videos. I have a lot of pieces that I tend to recycle and like wear with everything and I think that's the beauty of it. Capsule wardrobe is so handy and it's super easy to then mix and match so I think today a lot of the outfits could be matched in a different way, one piece with another, but I was following the Pinterest board which I will link down below. What are we thinking? Do we like it? Is it too boring? Is it not giving Christmas enough? The whole function is sort of inside, so what we normally do is we have a dinner at my parents and then we visit my grandma. The problem is that sometimes we walk to my grandma's and I don't think I would be cold, but walking in these heels, I mean, it's definitely doable, but I'm not sure if it's the best choice. So in the end, I would maybe have to go with like lower winter boots, like flat ones, and I don't know if the look would be it then. But most of the time when we are inside, I would just, you know, be barefoot in socks and in home slippers. I just put the shoes on so you don't come for me in the comments. I'm not doing accessories though. I don't have anything. I mean, maybe I would pair it with like a really simple necklace. I'm happy to take advice from you. Please leave a comment below. Um, what would be the kind of jewelry and accessories that I should buy? I mean, I could see that I could use like a black belt, which I might have somewhere, but I really just want to get through this <laughs> fast, but please, please, please let me know what you think about all of these outfits and let me know which are the like main basic accessories that I should probably buy. Okay, next. This look was not necessarily on my Pinterest board, but I think I saw something similar on TikTok. Um, I caved in and I bought myself a mini skirt because I think I have seen so many outfits at this point that I feel like it's a piece that I should have in my wardrobe, especially when I'm trying to have like sort of a capsule wardrobe kind of situation. Um, so I did buy myself a very simple 
mini skirt in black with a little slit here. I think this works, but I'm also not loving it. Um, what I've been thinking though, it might work better with like the red Mary Janes that I got. They're so gorgeous. I wish it was a little warmer so I could actually wear them now, but I think I will try this outfit with it and maybe wear this in like spring. I think I normally try to like tuck in clothes like this, but when I saw the inspiration on TikTok, I was like, you know what, maybe maybe I'm not gonna be a tucking girl anymore because all the it girls just wear this sort of like oversized layers and I thought I would try it. Um, it's not the most flattering thing for my body type, but it also kind of works. I don't know, let me know. Maybe, maybe I'm just gaslighting myself into liking it. I just moved around a little bit and I feel like my butt started coming out. Ah. Is it a common thing for mini skirts to just ride up when you make a move? I feel like the last time I had a mini skirt was when I was like 13 and I had no curves back then. So I don't think this was a problem, but right now, huh? I mean, this is not the safest thing to wear. I put the Mary Jeans on, I didn't fully fasten them because I don't feel like dealing with that right now. But I feel like, oh my god, I really don't know if you can see it. I feel like it works better than with the knee-high boots. Or maybe if I had boots in like red, this would be a really nice outfit. Oh my god, the shoes are wonderful. Anyways, moving to the next one. I feel like I'm losing the light way too quickly and I need to adjust the camera settings. So I'm already freaking out about editing this one. This is such a simple classic look. Um, it's the same skirt, same tights, and same boots as I had in the one before. It's super simple, super comfortable. I mean, I am a little worried about my butt coming out from this, but overall, I think this is a very timeless look and I don't think anybody can go wrong with it regardless of the body type. By the way, did you notice that I haven't climbed on the couch in this video yet? And I don't think I will because I have fallen down from there trying to show my shoes so many times at this point that yeah, no, I'm too old for that now. Just showing it like this. <laughs> Here is a yet another iteration of the mini skirt and the red turtleneck. When I saw this episode of SNL, wait, it wasn't SNL, it was um, Jimmy Fallon and Miley was wearing this outfit. I fell in love, like this was a couple years back. I remember looking up the skirt that she was wearing thinking I could buy it for myself because it just, the outfit was amazing. It's a Gucci skirt and it retails for like a couple thousand dollars, which obviously is not an option. I could not find um, any nice green skirts, but I feel like the black and red is also a timeless combination and you know, naturally, I also don't have the shoes that she was wearing, but I feel like this kind of works. Also feel like it might be a little too much. Like it just feels like it's sort of cut off here. Um, I'm not loving this. I feel like the combination with the black tights is nicer. Um, but this also kind of works. Um, maybe with different shoes, like if I had maybe black Mary Janes. This is definitely not my favorite, but I just felt like I'd give it a chance in honor of Queen Miley Cyrus. Wait, I just realized this is kind of giving Elastic Girl. Okay, at this point, I am certainly milking the most out of this red turtleneck, but I do have these vintage diesel green jeans, and I thought it might work when it comes to the Christmassy color combination, but I also feel like it's a little bit boring and I really don't know what shoes I could wear with this. I just wanted to see what it looks like and how it feels, but I these are a little too tight and I don't think I would be able to eat as much as I'd like during the Christmas dinner, so I don't think this would be an option. I call this Victorian child Christmas. It's like a papa who will come home and give me a little clementine with a cinnamon stick and it will be my best day of my entire life that will only last 
12 years because I will die from influenza or a scarlet fever. I'm kind of liking it though. I make these jokes, but I do like this style. It's kind of Victorian child twee combination. I put on loafers. I feel like it would work also with like um, the knee-high boots that I've had with everything that I've tried on so far. It's very comfortable. There is definitely space to eat in this one. Not that it's an issue, but it does cover my tattoo. I feel like I do want to cover my tattoo for Christmas because half of my family doesn't know that I have it and I don't know if I feel like um, listening to the comments and answering questions about it. Now this is certainly a more relaxed version of pretty much everything that I have tried on so far. I paired it with the Red Mary Janes. Probably not the best version considering that it's winter. I do like it but I'm not quite sure what I would wear underneath this. This is a very thick sweater and obviously when I'm inside I would probably want to take it off and you know do you just wear a regular t-shirt in that case it's just a little bit too plain and too boring maybe with the red turtleneck this is like i feel like it translates black but it's like a chocolatey brown uh satin skirt it's very comfortable i'm not sure i'm not so sold on this outfit i feel like it's again one of those more comfortable ones that you would wear when you're hanging out with friends but for like a semi-formal actual christmas dinner thing I think this would not pass. Maybe I'm just, yeah, I'm definitely overthinking this. Like, it's just a family dinner and nobody really cares. But it's the only day of the year when we sort of like dress up for a dinner when we don't go out for dinner. So I do like putting effort into this. I don't know. I'm definitely overthinking it. Also, I kind of feel like it's not that flattering for me. Like, I. I know that it's quite popular to wear outfits that are sort of like baggy. I think though that I might be a little too short for something like that and that it's sort of a style for people that are skinnier and taller than me. Um, but again, maybe I'm just a bit too critical. I don't think this is the one, but please let me know. Now, I know this isn't necessarily giving Christmas, it's also not really on my Pinterest board, but when I did one of these, like, first, is it the fit or is it the Pinterest for, I think it was summer outfits, I have discovered the color combination of lavender and red working surprisingly so well that I feel like this is kind of a cute combination and I wanted to try it on. I really don't feel like putting on these shoes again right now. I think it's kind of cute. Maybe not so Christmassy. I caught a glimpse of myself in the mirror with this green eyeshadow and I feel like it was such a stupid thing to put on. I look insane. Like, how do people make this look nice? Or do you just have to have like a very specific outfit to go with it? Maybe I will keep this one for like a New Year's party or maybe just like day-to-day -day wear. I feel like the light is getting horrible at this point, so I'm gonna move on to the last outfit that I have prepared. At this point, I'm actually not sure if any of them are something that I would like to wear, so I definitely need your opinions. Please let me know all of your thoughts, all of your suggestions, and how I could mix and match these things in the comments below. And let's move on to the last one, which is like kind of a boring one, but um, classic, you'll see. I feel like it might be a little too small for me at this point but I feel like it's super simple, cozy but also somewhat formal. I paired it with loafers. I feel like the red Mary chains would work quite well too but then again I don't want to go too summery and then get sick or break my ankle in case I need to walk. Yeah it's a little boring but I suppose it works and it matches the hair scarf so well. It's kind of a perfect match, isn't it? That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please help me pick an outfit. As you can tell, I am quite desperate. I also hope you're all gonna have a great holidays. Please take a moment to step away from all the rush and all the consumerism and just enjoy a little bit of moment with your friends, your family, if you can. And if you're not celebrating Christmas, just enjoy the vibes around you, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I will see you next time. Bye.